So navy blue has been a huge deal in design for decades, if not centuries. Dark and moody blues never seem to go out of style, but according to this article that we're gonna talk about today, this color potentially could be replacing it. So let's get into it. I'm gonna give you my thoughts as we go along. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that button because we just hit 100,000 subscribers. <laughs> It's crazy. And although this video is technically unsponsored, I do want to mention our Patreon. We have two different tiers. The first tier gives you complete access to all of the bonus Patreon videos we have put out. There must be 30 plus at the moment. And then for an extra 250, every three months, you get your own personalized mini color quickie on our Patreon. Super exciting. So Thank you so much to our patrons that have already supported us and continue to do so. Anyway, let's get into this article. What color is replacing dark blue? And I found this on livingetc.com. And if I had to guess without looking at the article ahead of time, I would have said something like, okay, well maybe dark green because green is kind of an evolution of blue towards the warmer side of things. It's gonna be a little more organic and a little more warm, of course. We do see a lot of warm colors in design, but as you read it, kind of similar, but also totally different. The color that's replacing dark blue is dark brown, a rich brown. I guess the one thing that I did get right was this is an organic feeling color, one with nature. In fact, brown and green are often paired together in really beautiful ways. But I think what this article is laying out is what's old is becoming new again. So the first point they talk about is a mid-century twist. And the twist is the really, really cool part because we can often equate color to different periods, right? You had your beiges from like 20, 30 years ago. You had your grays from 10, 15 years ago. Browns were really popular in the 60s and 70s. Just because it was popular then, doesn't mean it feels dated now. I feel like it's all about how you utilize these colors. So by going with a dark, rich brown color, that's very purposeful. And then maybe you contrast it with lighter elements and pops of color. I think that's a really striking thing that can look really nice. Although for some reason, I always say this, I don't like brown bedrooms. I just don't know why. This next example is really nice actually. It has a tone on tone sort of feel. So very monochromatic within the brown spectrum, but it's playing with lights and darks and various different textures, which I find really, really cool. It almost has a slight wabi-sabi feel, like the, the walls have that beautiful weathered texture that I really enjoy. This feels very contemporary to me. And even though it is a brown bedroom, it is, Okay, in my box, it has light and dark. That beautiful shimmering green fabric above the headboard is phenomenal. So not only can you go for a statement dark brown, you can go with different shades of brown, different tones, all within the same space and just kind of layering them up. Not only depth, but texture as well. But then I guess you can also do some color drenching and essentially envelop a space with dark brown. Really, it's just leaning into that darkness to create a very cozy effect. That's what I have found with dark colors is they can give you an almost cave-like feel because they just reflect less light. They're not gonna be as energized, but they will feel a little more calming and cocoon-like. So if that's what you're going for, then that's a way to do it. At the end of the article, the author is talking about what is the best brown paint. And I don't think there is such a thing, but I really like this one. It is dark and rich, and it has a little bit of a red quality, which I really enjoy. So check this out, a whole color palette just for you. 